Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to integrate App Levin Interest Teacher Ads into our Android project. So go to your App Levin dashboard and click on documentation icon. Open the documentation for Android and then you have to go down and select add format and inside that format click on interest details right uh, as you can see there is a loading and interest teacher ad the integration is given here so we have to follow it here okay basically what you know that uh, here we can add uh, interest teacher ad uh, or reward video ad in our project uh, we can add uh, inside our uh, adapter class because using the adapter class we have set a on click listener method okay so first of all let's uh, add in our go to java under your package name select adapter and uh, go to the featured game adapter first one okay which is the first section on our home fragment right so let's uh, we will add the uh, interstitial add here okay so why we choose this because uh, adapter class have a on click listener as you can see here okay on card game set on click listener means when any users click on it, any uh, card game then a game will open so before opening the game url uh, we will we can show the add to the users and after add is closed then we can send redirect to that user to this url game url in the uh, device browser right so let's start it okay now first of all let's copy this private variable okay now paste it here okay inside your featured game adapter class keep the cursor here and press alt plus enter it has been done now go back and what we can do okay so let's go down okay as you can see there is a method uh, to create and load add okay so what we can do just to copy this these two lines okay not these ones uh, just copy the first one okay copy these lines and uh, also uh, we can add this code in our own bind view holder but uh, as you can see there is a lot of coding so our adapter class can be disturbed if you make a single uh, error or mistakes so better is that we can create a custom method here okay so let's down and uh, click a public method okay uh, you can give any name to your um, uh, interest teacher add showing method okay uh, let's call it show interest teacher ads okay fine now we have to pass this code from here okay now as you can see we have to pass a add unit id so in the last video i have tell you that you can add a, a static add unit id uh, in the helper function file okay so let's press ctrl d and let's name it in the teacher add id fine now we have to replace this add id go to the dashboard and uh, as you can see this is uh, enter add id okay so copy this one okay now paste it here okay fine now we have to call this string variable okay so remove this one also remove the double quotes okay now call function class and interstitial add id fine now we have to pass the activity context here so remove the this this will uh, work only in the activity class so that's why it is uh, showing error so simply we have to pass a activity uh, context here okay 
so delete one this one and uh, pass activity now it has been done okay now what we can do uh, uh, let me tell you uh, steps what we have to need uh, showing this head let's suppose that user have to select any game in our app okay so suppose that he want to play a uh, game a okay so if he click on the game a then add will should appear and uh, after that close then he able to run game okay so what we can do we have to set a listener which listen the uh, uh, events of the users and the callbacks of this interstitial ad id from the app login okay so how we can do it uh, go to the documentation and simply as you can see uh, it is uh, given here interstitial set listener this copy this line okay now paste it here but uh, i have told you that this is uh, this not work this context is not work here because this is adapter class not activity so you have to pass the activity context here but uh, we not need activity context here actually we have to create a set listener uh, method callback uh, using this set listener event inside this uh, so interstitial method okay so remove this one and what you can do uh, you have to call a new max head listener okay so uh, let me show you maybe in the documentation uh, let me check whether it is given or not mm, i am unable to find it here mm. no there uh, it is not showing here okay so no issue i am telling you the custom way uh, which uh, we have used in our all the projects okay so it is better so every time do not follow the documentation of everywhere uh, just you have to uh, increase your thinking eligibility how uh, and uh, why do you need uh, the steps to perform action okay so let's we have to make a callback like this press mu and after give a space type max head listener as you can see uh, it is also showing there if it is not showing there uh, just type max and then it will uh, suggest you interface okay so just click on this max head listener interface okay green color i represents interface class okay so let's click on it okay now as you can see our own add load uh, on this page other method has been created successfully now uh, what we can do uh, inside own add load method uh, we can show the add because this method calls when if the add is has been loaded so if the add is loaded we can show the add to the users okay so showing add uh, how you can perform you have to call this one okay so copy this one paste it here it has been done okay now and go down and uh, as you can see there is a method on add hidden basically it is a on add closed method uh, in the add mode it is a on uh, add close and in the applicant it is on add hidden every company have different their naming parameters so do not confusion just think uh, by your mind okay uh, what it is mean okay so uh, what we can do after the add hidden we have to show our game to the users okay let's show the game to user okay and uh, also you can track uh add click if the add click then you can show anything message here or uh, create an event like if you want to have a earning app and want to pay the user just to simply for clicking on ads that then you have to uh, need this method okay uh, in our app we have uh, used this one okay and uh, and this is on add load fail it means that uh, 
यू हैव रिक्वेस्ट द सो लोडिंग द एड फ्रॉम द एप लविन एच डी के बट मैनी टाइम्स एड्स इज फेल्ड मे बी रॉन्ग इंटीग्रेशन और नेटवर्क इशू ओके सो यू कैन सिंपली शो ए टोस्ट मैसेज टू द यूजर्स दैट मे बी एनी एर एंड सिंपली यू कैन शो द गेम टू द यूजर्स अगेन बिकॉज एड इज फेल देन यू कैन नॉट वॉन्ट दैट यूजर्स विल बी गेट ट्रबल्ड ओके सो वाट यू कैन डू जस्ट सिंपली यू हैव टू कॉपी दिस फंक्शन एंड पेज इट ऑल्सो देर ओके नो नीड एनी अदर थिंग्स and let me explain it is on display failed it is means that ad is loaded successfully but uh, due to some reasons maybe your view or layout file is not enough have space so that ad is failed okay this is uh, then you have to perform action on it but we not actually need this ones okay so what we can do more now uh, we have to load the ad as you can see there is not loading the ad method we have added yet so we have to as you can see it is there okay uh, from here load the first ad okay using this method copy this one and where you can put it you have to put it after the event listener okay after this it is here okay now you have to so this add now our add automatically so when add is loaded because we have called this function so add okay now we have to create so interstitial adds method into our button on click or card view on click okay so as you can see uh, this is our card game set on click listener so we have to paste this uh, method here so any one user when click uh, Uh, this card then add will display right so paste it here okay now make this one for oh, now now but uh, as you can see we have uh, performed two steps uh, at a time uh, first one is showing interstitial and and second is uh, opening a game url in the users uh, browser so your app may be crash or becomes laggy and your ads automatically will be closed because uh, at a same function you cannot perform to intent okay so what you can do uh, simply just copy uh, cut from this this lines and what we can do we have to add this line into our uh, after this uh, on add displayed method okay means uh, if uh, no we can add in the on add hidden okay after add is closed we can show this game url to the users okay so paste it here but as you can see it uh, will not work like this so how it will work uh, simply we have to create a string resource here as you can see a uh, game url basically is a string file okay so what we can do uh, also we can we have to show a toast message to the users uh, that uh, game is starting now okay maybe uh, next website is slowing or down so he do not confuse that what is happening so we have to show a toast message to the user also so let's uh, pass two variables first name first thing is the uh, game name right this one and second string for game url right i hope you understand if you feel anything uh, not understandable please feel free to contact me i am here okay so uh, now we have to implement this uh, string variables into our on click listener method as you can see the first one is the game name so we have to pass our first variable as a game uh, name uh, and you can see uh, using this way we can get the game name okay so this copy this one and paste it here now press comma and uh, as you can see now we have to paste uh, uh, sorry pass a game url so what we can do just call the featured games get position okay now get game url okay this one now it has been resolved and when you just click on any game then ads will show 
and suppose that if add is shown and now add is closed then this game URL hits automatically and uh, you just uh, can able to play this game in your uh, device browser okay and suppose if the um, ad is failed by any means then what you will do just simply what we can do we have to copy this one copy this one and paste it here on ad for if ad is failed then what we can do just simply pass the uh, this game url to the user's device so that he can play without interrupting okay so but uh, as you can see we have a issue so we have to pass uh, game url from there as you can see we have game url just copy this one okay now inside this open open game url you have to pass it here okay remove this one now paste it here okay fine error has been resolved do same here remove this one now paste it here okay now error has been gone now what we can do uh, we have to show a toast message to the users that game is opening now so please wait okay so dynamically get the game name also uh, we can use this way okay so let's create a toast message here as you can see in the function class we have a toast message so let's call it function dot show toast method and pass the game name here and also show the loading also uh, so let's create a string resource file go to the resource okay now go to values and in the string dot xml file let's create a new string resource value string name and give uh, name as loading game okay now what we can do i hope you have understand what i am doing and uh, you also listening what uh, we have done uh, using this uh, string method okay and uh, i hope you have also know what is the string placeholder so i will use a string placeholder here uh, okay let me tell you something uh, just like this one okay now you have to pass loading okay now we have to call this loading game into our here so toast method so let's create call the activity context now get resources get string okay now pass the dot string dot uh, our this uh, name loading game okay this one now it has been resolved but uh, as you can see <coughs> but as you can see uh, it is simply just showing the loading uh, then what users will think what is loading so also so so uh, you have to also uh, display game name uh, after this loading okay uh, suppose loading uh, game name okay but how you pass a dynamic game name uh, programmatically here so you have to use a string placeholder if you do not know what is the string placeholder then go to the google.com and search for it and learn for it okay for now uh, let me some uh, tell you how it works a uh, string placeholder can be created like this one okay let me follow uh, you have to first of all make a uh, percentage sign now you are passing the only one first parameter then you have to press one after that you have to make a dollar sign and if you are passing a string then you have to type as if you are type integer then you have to type and something at all uh, okay so let's uh, we are passing as so type s now you, this is called a string placeholder in this placeholder we can show game name dynamically okay now go back and as you can see there is a we have created a loading game name so inside after this what we can do uh, put a comma and after this you can show a game name dynamically okay as you can see the game name is uh, given here just copy this one and paste it here okay now it has been done uh, there is something error let me check yes we have to paste inside this string value not uh, inside the get resources value so cut from it here and do it here okay yes it is fine now so 
also copy this dot message and paste it inside this all failed method okay now it has been done now what we can do more let me check what we can do more yes suppose that uh, user have click on the game right uh, uh, using this listener method okay but suppose that user have a slow internet connection then ads will take time to load as you know okay so during this time if you just click uh, twice or thrice on a same game then your app becomes laggy or finally crashed so how you can avoid it you uh, we can avoid it just uh, passing simply a uh, progress dialog so that uh, he able to understand that ad may be loading and after ad then next things will happen okay so we have to display a progress dialog so where we can show uh, we can show it here okay calling this method just call it uh, here as you can see in the function class already we have created a uh, show progress dialog method so just simply call this one okay function show progress dialog okay now pass activity context and it has been done it will show the progress dialog okay now but uh, suppose that uh, ad is loaded and uh, start to showing okay so we have to dismiss this dialog box because this is a dialog box if it is uh, you forget to dismiss it then app will crash okay and you will never able to find the error in your project i guarantee okay so uh, do not if you make sure that if you have added a progress dialog you should have to close it before making other event or action okay so as you can see the first event is that uh, showing an ad so suppose that uh, progress dialog is also showing and you call also uh, this method then app will crash okay and you never will able to find the uh, issues easily okay you have to spend a lot of hours or days okay so better is that uh, dismiss the progress dialog and where to dismiss just before this method okay because the first method is calling this one okay so you have to dismiss the dialog box here okay call function hide progress dialog as you can see we have created a hide progress dialog you have to call it here now pass activity context now it has been done okay now what we can do more suppose that uh, ad is not loaded and uh, ad is failed okay and uh, progress dialog is still showing so and uh, you also call the game url and a toast function so in this case app again will crash so also you have to add a hide progress dialog to this on add field method so copy this line and paste it in on add field method do not add in the after the event you have to dismiss the dialog before the event occurred okay now let me check whether everything is done or not yeah it has been good and now we are ready to show add okay so let's click on run app icon let me check whether our app has been connected or not let me check uh, it has been disconnected let me connect please wait now our device has been ready now let's run the app okay check the build process here it will take some time so do not panic and be patient please App level ads integration lecture is a bonus part for you because it is not related to the API integration. Okay.
just please wait you can skip the video or let me pause please build process is running please wait As you can see, app is installing now. And app launched successfully. SDK initialized to and banner ads is working. Okay, so we have to check featured games. Okay. What we can do? As you can see, our layout becomes inaccessible. Uh, this text view featured games okay so we will fix it later just to focus on the action on click listener okay just let me click on the first game and you have to check that ad is showing or not okay and also focus on that after clicking we have added progress dialogue okay and when starting showing ad it will automatically dismiss so you have to check everything so click on it as you can see it is showing now ad is working fine okay ad is working fine uh, now skip this ad Now launching loading the Ludo Dash. As you can see, our torch, uh, this torch is also showing. We have added launching the Ludo game. Okay, dynamically. I hope you have understand. I not have set any default browser. That's why it is opening my all the browser choosers intent and asking me to choose a browser to open the game. Okay, so do not worry about it. Okay. Uh, now what we can do uh, we have to fix this issue so as you can see the it is stuck to the top so we what we can do uh, we have to remove uh, let me check first one okay so go layout layout and activity main okay now activity main just to note an issue here go to the fragment home okay. uh, make the visibility for nested scroll view so that we can understand better okay uh, padding bottom okay so we set the cone and go back to the activity main and what we can do uh, we have to set a height to, sorry mm. this shifts the top of this okay so what we can wait, wait a minute Uh, please wait let me find the issue so you can try with this you have to remove this padding bottom we have added this one okay so let's remove this one and check whether it is working or not okay so that okay. now run the app so that we can check whether it is fine or not
Please wait, it will taking some time. App is launching. As you can see, this place who has been not resolved yet. Okay, and also bottom issue. Okay, so not this one. We have to set a margin top. Okay, so let's undo the changes. do this uh, you have to add this one and uh, what you can do go to the activity main and uh, as you can see when you click uh, on this view you can find uh, some pad margin top okay because of this uh, app limited so what you can do is add uh, in this case let me check Top to top parent bottom to right, right, left to left, bottom to top of navigation view. Okay. Layout okay. yes, uh, issue may be this one. Uh, layout height 734 dp okay uh, this one so uh, you have to remove this one and uh, make the width match parent okay and uh, set the layout height 0 dp okay uh, because 0 dp will make it uh, responsive so let's try with 0 dp uh, yes this is the issue and now as you can see it fit in into the user's device okay so let's uh, once more check it just wait we have it is running app is running and uh, check yes as you can see it is working fine now our featured games uh, title is showing successfully and scroll down it is also working fine but again a new issue is occurred that uh, you can see the scroll is not going to uh, the near to the bottom navigation so uh, remove this padding so it is here inside mm, fragment home and uh, remove this padding okay from the nested scroll view okay now once again run the app check it yeah it is working fine now top view is also fine and as you can see now bottom view is also fine yes it is very looking nice and everything is working smooth and fine okay i hope you have understand so now as you can see we have a most played game adapter and uh, all random all random games adapter so we have to also add add on this card views 
so let's start it okay you you have to just copy and paste it from the feature games adapter what you can do let me show you just you have to make the copy uh, copy and paste go to the most play game now copy the code from here first of all copy the variable okay now paste it here okay now copy this line okay and paste it here okay now uh, first of all we have to remove the feature games because our list name is most play games so select this one most play games and also type here most play game and it has been done okay now go back and copy all this layout okay like this copy okay now paste it uh, before ending closing tag curly brackets now paste it here okay now it has been done and what we can do more now everything is perfect no issue is there okay yes it has been done okay now go to same random game adapter and do this again okay copy the code from here okay now paste it here done now copy the on click listener event from here okay now paste it here okay uh, replace this list with random game list okay now also replace this with random game list okay now fine go back and uh, code the class method you have to double click here in front of the public method okay it will automatically select entire code of this method okay press ctrl c to copy and paste it before this ending closing curly bracket okay now it has been done one issue is there uh, let me find what is that yes uh, we have called the wrong method because we forget to put s right copy the s from here uh, like this s now it has been done yes now it has been done successfully okay it will work as expected and as like of the feature game adapter and uh, there will be no issue at all so i hope you have understand okay now this video has been completed i will meet you in the next video